then he cracked my mate Nate like a Kit Kat bar. What do I mean by that? Coming at you right now. Yeah. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to my V-Boxing. Going in round one, this was clearly a battle of the jabs, and Kenny took it early. I mean, he had Nate's head popping back like a Harry Potter bobblehead. You can tell Nate felt that double jab, too, because he immediately put Kenny in that Logan Paul headlock. Just <laughs> Kenny didn't let that go, though. He used that clinch against Nate and got in a good couple of shots to the body. Also, I love to see Kenny framing to keep Nate out of range and reinstate his own pace. I mean, time and time again, Nate would try to attack. Kenny would slip out of the way of those punches, and Nate would re-engage the clinch almost like he's in a panic. For anyone that doesn't know, framing is structuring your arms in a way that allows you to control the distance between you and your opponent better, and also allows you to create your own angles. Popping into round two, Kenny opens the round with a nice left hook to Nate's chin and sits him down with a right. Talk about good timing. And Nate's balance ghosted him like a white blonde girl. I'm not interested. <laughs> And that absolute massacre awarded King Kenny with the second round TKO. If you haven't already liked, commented, subscribed, the worst thing that's going to happen is I'm probably going to cry myself to sleep tonight. But if you don't click on this next video, King Kenny's coming for you in your sleep. Funny how Kenny does well when he actually throws. 